you don't mind. Uh, so this is a just for mock interview. So for preparation only for the uh, basic understanding of organization structure and uh, some queries uh, from GL perspective. So just uh, start a brief about yourself so that uh, I'll ask the some questions. So where you are? Yeah, please continue. Good morning, sir. Uh, I am yes. Mansa KH uh, from Hoskote. It's located in Bangalore rural. Uh, I have done my bachelor's in commerce and master's in finance and accounts. Overall, I have a uh, five years of experience towards uh, finance and accounting. I have worked for Australian projects and tax free countries. I have exposure towards bookkeeping, journal entries, audit support, invoice accounting, vendor management, a uh, little bit of AP and AR. Now I'm looking a job into the accounting field and I'm going to a, a SAP classes also from past uh, three, four months. Uh, thank you. OK, OK, fine. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for the introduction. So I think uh, past uh, two months we are learning uh, SAP FI. So recently we just entered into the controlling module. Fine. So now let us uh, uh, jump into the uh, topics. Uh, so, can you explain about organization structure of the FICO? Yes, sir. Uh, in organization structure, we have basically uh, four major uh, divisions. Like it starts with the client. Yes. And um, uh, the next stop will be the operation concerns. Operating concern, yes. And the next will be the controlling areas. Mm -hmm. Next will be the chart of accounts. Mm -hmm. Next will be the company codes. And at last, uh, we can uh, mention it as a business areas. OK, OK, that's great. OK, fine. Uh, then what is meant by a company? In SAP, a group of units, we call it as a company. And for every oh. company, we give a unique identification number to differentiate between the companies. Okay, and that is called as company code. Okay, for, for what purpose we can uh, we need to create company in SAP? So as we are looking into a larger number, like we have a huge industries. So to differentiate the uh, company from one company to another company, we give a uh, unique identification number called company code. No, uh, see the company which we can use for consolidation purpose okay so we even we can use for differentiation purpose that is also one thing the main reason is that company we can use for consolidation purpose because one company may have multiple legal entities so if i would like to have a consolidation for that purpose we can use that yeah you just make a correction small correction at your end yes sir. Yeah. okay fine that's that's fine that's fine so then <clears throat> What is meant by company code and for what purpose company code can be used? Company code is nothing but your legal entity. OK. No, no. The question is that what I'm asking, what is meant by company code and for what purpose company code can be used? So as I said, um, we have different in number of companies within the organizations. Mm -hmm. So to uh, to maintain but, uh, for uh, each company or each business units, we, we have to differentiate some of the GL accounts or business activities. So for that, we'll have a unique uh, identification code as company code. No. See, the main reason behind that to create the company code, we have to draw the financial statements for external statement. OK, you need to say like this. What is meant by company code and for what purpose means you need to say company code is a organizational unit where we can use to draw the financial statements for external reporting purpose. External reporting in a sense like shareholders. Uh, I mean for companies act as per companies act they, they have to prepare PNL account and balance sheet then at the same time as per income tax act they have to prepare for that purpose. Basically, we are going to use the company code. That's fine. You just make a correction this one. Then the next one is what is the chart of accounts? How many chart of accounts are there? And what is the use and which one is a mandatory? Uh, 
chart of accounts is a structure of gl accounts exactly there are three types of uh, chart of accounts operational yes. chart of account group chart of account and country specific chart of account yes operational chart of account is a mandatory exactly uh, very group good chart is an optional we can uh, set it and country based uh, based on those uh, country boundaries okay based on the country requirement which we can use exactly so so, so for what purpose as you said the operational uh, chart of accounts is a mandatory so without that we cannot uh, uh, i mean uh, prepare the financial statements so now for what is the use of the group chart of accounts so it's an optional so we can uh, if we wish to have a group chart of accounts we can set we can set it or else uh, it's not so mandatory like uh, operational accounts no no see now if, if as you said it is a optional okay now there is a business requirement I, they would they want to that one okay so the requirement so let's say they want to have a group chart of accounts then what is the use of that one if if i have a group chart of accounts also along with the operational chart of account so, so the group chart of accounts also can be used for concern addition purpose okay let's say now two organization two legal entities are using a different uh, chart of accounts so in such situation now if they would like to draw the report okay i mean they would like to view the report as a single G let's say now i have a one expenditure now administration expenses one legal one legal entity using different chart of accounts another legal entity is using a different chart of accounts then if that could be the case maybe let me one moment let me clarify this one because in the beginning from the beginning i have already explained in detail but once again once again i'll clarify at the end i'll clarify this one okay so first let us continue that session then what is the retainings account and and for what purpose we can use okay what is the retainings account at least Retained earnings is used to record the previous year profit or loss in the current year books of accounts. It comes under balance sheet under liabilities. Okay, okay, fine. So basically, the retained earnings account can be used to carry forward the previous year profit and loss account open balance balances to the next financial year as you said it is 100% right that is a it's a balance sheet account and it's a liability account that's fine then and also you need to uh, prepare what is the purpose of that one also okay just for your information then okay so how many uh, levels i mean uh, how many levels we can create the gl accounts in sap um, we can create it in three levels one is a chart of accounts company code and central level exactly exactly okay very good very good then what is the document type and what is the use of uh, those document types Document type uh, is a key used to classify the accounting transactions exactly. and, it different, and it differentiates between the trade transaction to be posted. Exactly. So the document types are nothing but a vouchers in the SAP system. So as you said, to classify the business transactions. Exactly. Exactly the answer. What you said, it is 100% correct. Then... <clears throat> The next one is that what is the posting period variant and how system should know which physical year we are following. A posting period variant is like it's used to record the transactions in the daily activities mm -hmm. for a particular financial year. Mm -hmm. And towards how uh, how system will know in the sense like in uh, I thought uh, in settings we have to uh, set the dates for like open and close period for that particular financial year exactly exactly so so uh, instead of saying that at setting so you just you just use that as a sap terminology so in the configuration please do okay. not use that sentence because okay. it will, will be i mean it will looks different so that is the reason in the configuration based on the configuration 
expectation. So system is going to determine that one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So how to <clears throat> control the posting periods? So now let's say we are in the month of August. Now I want to close uh, for the month of July. Okay. How can I control those periods? So if for Current financial year, we can uh, post the entries until we close the books of accounts. Like uh, if we start in March, we can uh, post till April of the uh, current year. No, oh, no. See the posting. I'm not asking the postings. OK, postings we can do from April to March. That is fine. But now let's say we are in the month of August. Now let us assume now I want to post only for August month only, I do not want to post for upcoming month as well as in the past month, July month. So how can I control the periods? Mm -hmm. Don't know, sir. Okay, okay, fine. So there is an option in uh, transaction code OB52. Okay, open and closed posting periods option is available. Okay, I have already explained. During during the our session. So over there, which period we would like to open, which period we would like to close, we can decide over there. Even we can control from there. Even if you want to have a particular GL wise also, we can do the controls from there. OK, fine. No problem. No problem. Then, <clears throat> then what is the exchange rate? How the exchange rates will be maintained? Exchange rate is a foreign currency. When we have any foreign currency transactions, when we compare our own currency to the other foreign currency, that we call it as an exchange rate. Mm -hmm. And to control it in SAP, we have a uh, we have a configuration or like uh, we'll integrate uh, to the bank portal or any third party to get the updated exchange rates in the system. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Based on that integration at some particular time, every day SAP will uh, draw the current rates automatically. Exactly, exactly. So do you aware what is the table of that current exchange rate table? So transaction code you're asking about? No, 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 exchange rate table. There is a table, it is there. Okay, so where that exchange rate is going to update. Okay, fine, no problem, no problem. So. The first thing is that uh, table for. One moment, one moment. Let me open our. OK, I'm just sharing my screen so that I'll clarify all your queries. Now, okay. So, okay. So now, <clears throat> exchange rate table is a it is not appearing. Application. Let me open another one. Not sure why it is not opening. Okay, I'll open the Word document. Really appreciated your uh, uh, explanation of what you have given. At least you tried to uh, explain the concept. At least you reach it to 70 percent, 70 to 80 percent. At least really good that one. So now, if I would say the exchange rate, so the exchange rate table is TC URR is the exchange rate table. Then the chart of accounts, what you were telling, the group chart of accounts. Group chart of accounts. Let's say now we have the 
now as you said the operational chart counts which we are going to use it's a mandatory so to to post to the day to day business transactions that is fine but now the purpose of the group chart of accounts then let's say now i have a business requirement let's say now the business requirement now z0 sg okay so this is my com one company code one then let's say z0 in okay so if one company code this company code which is in one is in singapore this company code is in india let's say so if this could be the case then this company code is following the different chart of accounts let's say 001 this company code is following the 002 then i'll put it here then this is the company code this is the country this is the country so this is the chart of accounts so this is the chart of accounts then if this could be the situation both company codes are following the different chart of accounts here now let us assume now let's say i have the admin expenses administration administration expenses so administration expenses in company code z0 sg to post my day to day transactions let's say i am using is a 400 400 this is a gl account okay administration expenses related gl account so at the same time here also i am using the gl account let's say 400 let's say 450 so here my business requirement would be because i have a multiple company codes so even though i want to track this administration expenses the option what we have we have to see the gl accounts multiple gl accounts while extracting the report because the the management people does not know which gl account to be used let's say one or two company codes they can remember but if i have the hundreds of company codes it is a very difficult to remember so to overcome this situation what they have come up with concept to call it as a group chart of accounts so the group chart of accounts they are going to create let's say they have created a one gl account this is the group chart of accounts here so what they are going to do they are interlinked this group chart of account while creation of the gl account so the moment when they are going to draw the report then if they key this one okay so now i am creating for this company code this gl account even if i have n number of company codes also while creation of this one i'll show you so while creation of the gl account we must have to specify that one the group group <coughs> chart of account related gl account number so that what system does system will pull the report okay is this is the hierarchy here so this is the hierarchy so hierarchy level i can able to pull the report because inside of this gl account already this is interlinked but remember one more thing here in in interview they may ask the question the moment when you are posting operational chart of accounts related gl account does it also update the group chart of account related gl account if this is the question absolutely not because this is only hierarchy gl account there will not have any postings for this particular gl account group chart of account related gl account does not have any postings okay so let me show you anyone so fs00 let me go to here because this will be the group chart of accounts will come will come into picture at the below let me show you that one because it should require group chart of accounts so let me show you that one financial accounting general ledger accounting business transactions gl 
counting master data because you see here what I'm trying to say here. Under chart of accounts, under operational chart of accounts itself, we are going to assign group chart of accounts. Remember, this is what what I'm trying to show here. OK, because this group chart of accounts already interlinked to your operational chart of accounts. Then now. The same. See now I am going to assign here. See assign company for to chart of accounts here. Now you see here, this is my operational chart of accounts where I am assigning to my company for. So now country specific chart of accounts I am assigning here. Yeah. Okay. So let's let us see this company code. If this company code has any GL accounts, then let me show you that one. How the Group chart of accounts will be. One is the company code triple zero five. Yes, there are GL accounts. Let's see. Now you can see here. This is what the group account number for group chart of accounts because how it will be enabled here. Because this company code 005 has been assigned. One is the operational chart of accounts. Inside of that one, there is a group chart of account. Okay. So based on that combination, this number which I am assigning here. This is what the group chart of accounts. Okay, fine. Appreciated your uh, preparation and uh, please continue the same. Okay. Yeah. Thank Thank you. Thanks for your time. So that let us continue our regular sessions. Thank if you, you have any further queries, so that yeah, we'll, we you can approach me so that I'll clarify. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Fine. Let us continue our regular session. So in the last session, what we have discussed. We have discussed about the 